Hello and welcome to another gear review with me, Anjay, on AM Guitar. Today we are looking at the Black Star Fly 3 Mini Amp. Black Star Fly 3 Mini Amp is very similar in some respects to some of the other Mini Amps I've reviewed over the last year or so, such as the Donna Mini Amp and the Moon Poc Amp, but also different in lots of ways, which I'll go into. Um, it is a battery powered amp. It takes six AA batteries, um, simple control layouts, gain, level, EQ, delay, delay volume, uh, you can switch between overdrive and uh, proper like distortion. You have a line in and an emulated line out, so you can record direct from this with a cab sim built in. It also runs off DC um, as well. Interesting thing to note is the EQ is the Black Star's patented ISF infinite shaping feature. So if you turn it all the way to the, as you're looking at it the right, but as I look at it the left. Um, you get a kind of a Mesa Boogie tight low end kind of sound. All the way other way, you're a bit more British and Marshall sounding. Now the way I'm going to demo this is rather than miking it up like you would an amp, I'm going to put my um, Zoom Q2N in front of it, just a little bit further away, not quite as far as the camera, just so you can hear what it sounds like in the room. So it's a bit more of a natural test. Before we get going, obviously, if you could subscribe, that'd be awesome. Now let's get on with this. Okay, so we're all set up. I've got the I've got my Telecaster going straight into the Black Fly, Black Fly, Black Star Fly. I'm on the clean channel. Gain is at uh, nine o'clock. Volume is at three o'clock. EQ's in the middle. No delay. Going to bring the gain up to midway. Three o'clock. See, rolling the volume off on the guitar actually cleans up really nicely so it responds like a proper amp now I'm going to play I'm going to bring that back down a little bit and I play with the EQ and put some delay on it as well so I'm going to turn the delay time up to kind of uh, nine o'clock and I'm going to just bring the level up Okay, a little bit of delay there. So we're going to move the EQ and put it all the way around to zero as it is on here. So you can hear that it changes where the mid frequency is, tightens up the bass a little bit as you turn down to zero. At 10 it becomes a bit more open. So let's put the overdrive on and turn the level on the gain down again. Gain up to 12 o'clock. Bring up a bit more. So 
that's full gain. Now if we play with the ISF again. <laughs> can really start to hear how that ISF changes those those tones from that tight Mesa Boogie sound to the open Marshall sound. So again. So I'm just going to roll the gain off a little bit. I'm going to put the um, ISF in the middle, so I like it in the middle. Put some delay on this and have a bit of a play. <laughs> it's a great little battery power practice amp. It's loud, it's got balls. I mean it responds like a proper amp. You can get blues out of it. You play with the delay enough, you can get a kind of um, reverby sound as well, as you're hearing here. And there's just lots of flexibility with it. And I hope it comes across on the video, but it sounds really good. Yes, it's a little bit boxy. It's a small box. It's a three watt speaker with a tiny little speaker in there. Um, and yes, it does vibrate a little bit. Again, it's a small box. You could probably put some weight on it, put a bit of a muffle in front of it to get more bass out of it. But for practicing, it's really, really useful. I find myself plugging this in more than I do my Katana at the moment. If you wanted to get a bit louder and go into stereo, you can buy a secondary cab for this that plugs in and gives you stereo or a stacked kind of sound. Uh, and that's quite loud as well. Uh, and the emulated line out, I'm not going to demo that now, but gives you a pretty good recording tool if you're just trying to take sketches, plug it straight into your sound card, um, and you can get some good tones out of it that will record direct to your door. So I think all in all, it's a really, really useful and affordable, it's about £55 practice amp that sounds a lot better than the other ones that I've used. It doesn't have a tuner, it doesn't have drum beats and all that kind of stuff. What it does have is really usable amp tones that a little bit of a practice, go around your friend's house with a couple of these and have a jam, you'd be really, really happy. So yeah, I mean, this is now my go-to practice amp, if I'm being honest. Um, the only thing that could make it better is make it rechargeable because those, it doesn't eat batteries, but six AA batteries are not overly cheap. Um, and I don't read the whole point is I don't want to plug it in all the time. So yeah, the Fly 3 from Blackstar, absolute thumbs up from me. Let me know in the comments if you've tried one of these. Have you tried the Boss Katana Mini? Is it better, do you think? Um, let me know, like, subscribe, and until next time, just play and enjoy yourselves, guys. Mm -hmm.